Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, it's a really unusual one. It's the Top 10 Drawbacks of Penis Removal. This may seem like a no-brainer to anyone born with a penis. The truth of the matter is that the matter of penis removal, even by a licensed professional, can have a lot of horrifying results, as well as a few lesser-known stipulations. Those are what we're looking at in today's video. The Top 10 Drawbacks of Penis Removal Number 10. Even attempting to remove your penis can lead to lots of bad press. Convicted killer and former bit actor from one episode of The Power Rangers, Skylar De Leon murdered Thomas and Jackie Hawks in 2004. Later, De Leon stated that he was attempting to secure funds for a sex change operation. In jail, De Leon attempted to remove his penis with a razor blade. De Leon's only security precaution was tying a sheet around his lower extremities. Not only did doctors undo any progress De Leon had made, he also made himself the target of national ridicule in the process. Number 9. Modifications after reattachment is not exactly the best idea. After his famous penis removal and subsequent porn video, John Wayne Bobbitt Uncut, Bobbitt was a little self-conscious about the look of his penis. He was not self-conscious because of the scar. Actually, Bobbitt was pretty proud of that. It was the fact that his severed and subsequently reattached penis looked more than a little puny by porn star standards. Bobbitt then decided to have an enlargement done. While the penis was indeed larger, Bobbitt's penis was no longer as aesthetically pleasing. As a matter of fact, Bobbitt himself described the new member as looking all lumpy and that the penis ended up looking like a potato. Number 8. Almost Permanent Incontinence even if the penis is removed surgically in a sexual reassignment surgery, there are certain side effects that can crop up. For instance, years after the operation, there can be the onset of incontinence. This involuntary discharge of urine can onset as a result of mid to no movement. Some patients also stated that there seemed to be an almost permanent state of leakage. There is also an increased risk of urinary tract infections. Number 7. A lot can go wrong in a non medical environment. Any attempt to remove the penis can result in excessive bleeding and death in many cases. While you may have only heard of the Bobbitt case, removal or attempted removal of the penis is actually a lot more common than you might think. Wikipedia's page on penis removal has 26 documented cases of involuntary penis removal. Nearly every one of them did not end well, and a few ended in death. An interesting point to consider is that nearly every instance of involuntary penis removal in the last 20 years has taken place in Asia. Number 6. Reattachment is seldom an option. Any hope of reattaching a penis depends a lot on what was done with the penis after dismemberment. It goes without saying that time is a factor, as well as what is done with a severed penis. A woman in Thailand actually put her husband's severed penis into a meat grinder. She then used the meat to make a soup which she fed to others as well as him. There is also the case of Catherine Becker who drugged an unidentified man. The police pointed out that the victim was conscious when his penis was removed. To make sure that there would not be a happy reunion, Becker put the penis into a garbage disposal and turned it on. Number 5. Phantom Erections Have you ever heard of phantom limb syndrome? This would be when amputees feel like their foot is itching after having the foot removed. Well, try and imagine an erection that you have no hope of, well, relieving in any way. Phantom erections among those who have had their penises removed, even voluntarily so, is a real phenomenon. Your only hope is that it either goes away or it's revealed to be nothing more than an air dream. Apparently, your penis will only come back to haunt you in a fully erect and ready to serve state. Number 4. Hair growing inside your new vagina. If someone is going to undergo a male-to-female sexual reassignment surgery, many surgeons now require thorough hair removal in both the penile as well as the scrotal areas. The reason that this is standard is that there is a very real possibility that both areas will continue to grow hair upon reattachment. This means, quite simply, that post-operative transsexuals need to worry about the very real occurrence of hair growing inside a newly constructed vagina. Shaving the area is not recommended. Hair that has grown inside the vagina can only be removed by another surgical procedure. Number 3. Two openings turning into one Hair inside the vagina is not even the worst possible side effect of the portion of sexual reassignment surgery known as vaginoplasty. The worst would be a condition known as vaginal rectal fistula. 
This is a breakdown of the wall between the vagina and the anus. Complications of this condition include, but are not limited to, a breakdown of the new vaginal cavity. This means that in order to reopen the vaginal cavity, additional surgery may be required. Alternately, the condition is very life-threatening. In some cases, a weakening of the wall between the new vagina and the anus can cause excrement to expel from the anus as well as the vagina. Number 2. Losing Your Penis Jar The practice of using eunuchs as civil servants in China was kept alive until 1912. These eunuchs would often keep their severed genitals in a jar on their belts. It was believed that dying as well as being buried with preserved genitals would allow them to be reincarnated as full men. In ancient China, keeping your treasure parts was a necessary part of regular inspection. Somehow, eunuchs losing these treasure parts was a problem. To resolve this, many eunuchs would have to barter with other eunuchs to borrow their treasure parts for inspection. Number 1. Your penis may end up on permanent display There are many legends associated with Rasputin's penis. The truth itself may never be known. However, the mere fact that a museum would be claiming to show off your penis nearly a hundred years after your death is of some note. After Rasputin and his penis said their goodbyes, shortly before multiple attempts to kill him finally succeeded, legend states that a chambermaid could not stand the idea of Rasputin's penis being lost to history, so she got herself a knife and saved the member. This is where the travels of Rasputin's penis get murkier in death than they ever got in life. It is known that a group of French women claimed to have the penis and reportedly worshipped it. Rasputin's daughter Marie demanded that the penis must be kept in the family. On some level, this seems more like a story out of Arkansas than Russia. The French women were faced with a quandary. Their creative solution to the problem was to send Marie Rasputin a sea cucumber. It worked. Decades later, Marie Rasputin died, still believing that the family heirloom was safely in her possession. In 1994, the Russian Museum of Erotica claimed to have secured the original penis from an elderly Frenchwoman. The supposed real penis of Rasputin is now on permanent display in the museum. So while you probably didn't enjoy that video about penis removal, I hope you found it interesting. Uh, give us a like, even if you kind of found the video a bit off-putting, it really helps us out and gets this interesting video in front of more people, we hope. Over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoy this one. There's the top 10 unsexiest records that are based around sex. And below that, there's another pretty gruesome one, which is the top 10 old medical practices which were worse than the disease they were trying to fix. Fascinating video about what we used to do to ourselves in medicine, so check those both out. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and thanks for watching.